G'day guys, my name's Zinkberg and welcome back to the Craftworks SMP. Where am I? I am outside Mafia Theatre. Now I am outside Mafia Theatre for one reason and one reason only. And that is because you're about to see some footage that was put together by Empress Littlebit, who is the maker of Mafia Theatre here behind me. I was originally going to do a recap using footage that I took last week. But it's important to note she did a job that is so amazing that I could never in a million years do what she has done at the beginning of this video. So I want all credit to go to Empress Little Bit for this. Please go and like and subscribe to her video and leave a comment telling her that I sent you over there. Um, also, the thing above my head, make sure to tell her that it looks like a squirrel, not a dragon. Grab your tissues because it's a little bit emotional. Sit back and relax and enjoy the finalization of the little Eggberg story that we had going last week. Catch you in a minute, guys. You guys are a bunch of clowns. Who has covered my base in TNT? Was that you? It was not me. No, it wasn't her zinc bag. It was me. Eggberg, you don't have to do this. You're right. I don't have to do this. I want to do this. You took away something I loved. Now I'm going to take away everything you love. Fleabag's inside. I've wait, got to get to him. Wait, Zink. Zink, no, no. Hold. Zink. Wait. Zink. Crud, crud, crud. Zink? Zink? Back, he didn't. Oh. He's over here. I was really worried about him because he's been sitting here ever since it happened and well, it's been like a, a week almost a week well i mean i under i i'd be the same way as Ooh. Zink. 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 Oh, what are you doing? can you use the front door can you knock before you come into my house please oh, ah, oh sorry, sorry. Oh, oh yep yep um what? Oh, um. Oh, oh the front door's still here oh. knock 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 zink okay. Coming, won't be a second. Oh, hi guys, how are you going? Hi. Hi. Nick, I love what you've done with the place. Yeah, thanks. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, sorry. See, look. <sighs> think, think you, we've, you've got to get out of this. You've got to get out of this slump. There, there's more to life than sitting here in your blown out house. Hmm. This is very unzink of you. I told you. I think he's going through the five stages of, of grief. Um, remind me what, what those are again? Lane? Well, you, you know what they are, right? Uh, yeah, I think the first one is denial. I'm not in denial. There's no way. It's not possible. I'm not the sort of guy who goes into denial. Um, and then, then there's, there's anger. I don't know. That's impossible. Know. I don't get angry. Right? Um... Isn't 
is a bargaining one? I bet you 50 bucks I don't go through the bargaining phase. I will never hit the bargaining phase. I'll bet you. Who wants to bet? Come on. Uh, no, no, that's okay. Uh, what if there was definitely depression? Mm. Oh, hearing you guys talk about all this is making me so sad. I'm just so sad. If he gets past that stage, it should be into acceptance. All right, I'm good now. Thanks, guys. Yay! That's awesome. Hello! <laughs> cool. Yay. Yay! Okay, where are we going? No. What are we doing? Uh, you seem to finish your house. Mm. Ah, that's a problem for another day. Okay, fine. No. Uh... <laughs> Adventure? Adventure, yes. yes! Which way? Wait, uh... Go... Oh, this way. This way. Okay. Are we flying or are we yeah. walking? Oh. Hmm. Lots of ender pearls. Hello, Hello Zink, you here? Hello. <laughs> oh, hey, Edda, how are you going? Hey, um. Uh, what, hmm. What's been going on? Yeah. Think things have changed a little bit on your house here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, um. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's alright. Everything's okay here. Uh, you can come in, by the way. Yeah. Feel free. Oh. Wipe, wipe your feet when you come in, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, it looks like you got a little bit of a plumbing leak here in the middle of your uh, living room. Ah, uh, this is a water feature. <laughs> yeah, I've got this beautiful water feature here in my uh, in my living room. This is uh, yeah, yeah. Just it's something nice when you when you're sitting on the, on your couch here. You can sort of look up and you know. Yeah, yeah it's good. I'm enjoying this. It's yeah. Lovely. So um. So mm. so what do you what. What are your plans here? Um, yeah, obviously this uh, this pretty big accident happened, and um, what, what what do you think you're gonna do about this? <laughs> um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. It is a bit. I um, you know, I think with with losing Fleabag and all the other things, I think I just think I might leave it. Like, I mean, I can just put some chests around on the ground and stuff, and just you know, just hang out here. It, it only needs to be chess, right? I mean, it doesn't doesn't need to be well, anything. Well, well, come here, come here, come here. Follow me. Mm. Yeah. Come here. Right. Watch your step. You don't have boots on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, come to your door so you can yeah. see the rest I'll of the door. Yeah, shut the door. Uh, yeah. Oh, shut the door. Oh, I'll shut just, the door. There you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got it? Okay. Okay, now stand here. Stand yep. here. Yep, yep, yep. And look out yeah. amongst this beautiful bay. Doesn't it look beautiful? It is gorgeous. It really does. gorgeous houses yeah. and homes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... It, it even looks really good from inside the house now. Like, I, I've got all this great view that I can see all the... I love yeah. this bay. It's um, it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite things on the server, actually. Mm. So one, one thing you might want to know about all of those beautiful places... Yeah. ...is that this um, this is this little eyesore here uh, seems to be bringing down the property values. <laughs> oh, so I'm wondering right. if, if you might want to consider actually rebuilding your house here, maybe? I, um... Look, I... I thought about it. Um, I didn't know about the property values, but to be honest, I'm not really looking at selling anyway, so it doesn't really affect me. Um, it doesn't affect you, but yeah. you have to think about those of us who mm. have maybe moved from our old home to a yep. new home. Mm. Mm. Might want to sell off the old home. Oh, and I get a see. Price for it. I see. I see. Yeah, I just. I don't know, man. I just. I, I mean, it, how much work it is to rebuild and things. I'm, I just, I don't even know. I just don't know that I'm really all that interested. I think, I think I just, I'd really rather just leave it like this. Looks like you have an ender chest over here. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. I've got some ideas here. Uh, let's see. Where is it at? I, I know I have this here somewhere. Ah, ha, ha. Here we go. Mm hmm. I don't know if you remember, but at mm -hmm. one point, a little holiday elf gave me one of these. Oh, I owe you one build. Yes. Ah, I see, I see. All right, so, so you need a hand with something? You want me to help you build something? Are you thinking yes, over on I your... Want you, I want you to help me build. I'm sorry. No, you just owe me a build, not even help me. I want you to build for me... A new house here for you to live in. Uh, I guess, I mean, it's an IOU. I guess I can't go back on that. 
I mean, you kind of can't say no to an IOU. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Mm. Um, let's see. Can you get that done by like I've, I've got a potential buyer coming in a few days, and I don't know how quick we can get. A few days. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, you know, take your time. Uh, you know, have fun okay. with it. Be creative. Yeah. Let, yeah. let the you know let you know juices let flow. The creative uses flow. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm. All right. Okay. Yes, I'll, I'll have it done in a couple of days. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, I know my uh, my is going to be excited to hear the news. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Oda. See you. All right. So I guess that's what I've got to do. Okay. So I am standing on the ruins. Uh, well, not the ruins. This is, uh, I've done a little bit of terraforming, just uh, a shulker box full of dirt and managed to sort of get, get the general area back to, uh, back to, basics and getting ready to make build as you have probably noticed there is a ton of copper around so this is my life at the moment uh, <laughs> this is what I need to do so we need copper in two states one is in the you know third state so we need to wax that we silk touch it up or zilk touch it up as my uh, my pickaxe is called and we pick it up um, I only need, I think I only need the two states, so I only need the one from, uh, the one from finished and the finished one. So we, we're running around and just doing this, uh, and rah. Okay. Okay, many, many, many hours later, after the copper decided to finish doing what it needed to do, um, and we are ready to start placing down some some ideas for blocks and things. I'm going to take you guys through the process that I go through when I'm making something, and yeah, enjoy this. So at this point of the build, I have very little idea about how this is going to go, other than I have this mental picture, and it's... It's a very simple picture, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to place down some um, some wool blocks just to give myself an idea of space and size and things like that, and hopefully get an idea of the basic layout of the shape. So let me just start here. I know that down this side we're going to, so I don't want to start right on the wall there, so we're going to start here and sort of work out our way down this wall and just get an idea of space. Generally when I'm doing this I work in lots of three and I do that because if you place three blocks then there's a way to put a window in between them. So that's my main goal for that. I'm going to skip forward a little bit here. Okay so I've got this to a point now. Um, the yellow bits here and over here, they're both going to jut up. There'll be like tower sort of looking things on the build. And the red bits are more a basic stone sort of structure. So let me get some stuff down in basic uh, materials and let's have a look and see what it looks like for size and things from here. Okay, so we've got the main part of the focus of the front of the house built, right? And it's just, it's purely just a structural sort of thing so we can gauge the size and things like that of it. I think that it is going to come out further this way than I've currently built it, but the great thing about building in a modular style like this, in little pieces that we can add on and things like that, is that we can add it on afterwards once we've had a look. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to grab a little bit of the roof and just put some of that up to get some idea because I need to see that in place before I can sort of tell where it's going from there. So let's do that.
And there we go. Finished. <laughs> so the whole point of me doing this, and, and I would only do this on builds that I would consider to be a little bit complicated, particularly for shape, right? All I'm trying to gauge is what the what the general shape of the building is going to be, how tall it's going to be. So I wanted to see, well, I've only just placed this dirt up here. I want to see that from back here, it's not too overbearing in terms of there's a lighthouse there and a big town hall here and this sort of whole area. I think that scale wise, it actually works. So with, particularly with, you know, this here being the size of a mast, um, a, a tall mast, then this is an extremely tall house. But it's not overly tall, right? I didn't build it up to sort of, you know, this level and 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 have it sort of standing up over the top of everything in, in the whole world, um, except, <laughs> except Nard's house over there. Um, Instead, I've just I've just gone to this height, and I'm pretty happy with that. And this gives me the layers that I want. Um, from here, it's it's going to be a little difficult to show a time lapse of what I do because there's going to be a lot of fiddling around when I'm when I'm doing this sort of thing. Once I get to this level, so now, for instance, let's. Um, Let's have a look over here, right? So, so for one, birch is not going to be my primary wood type used. Um, so what I will start doing is to get an idea of how this looks, I'll start texturing the front of this. And that'll give me a better idea of what it is I'm doing. Don't worry, when I come back, I will go over the details and show you what it is I've done. In fact, for you, it's just going to happen. So, so one second I'll be standing here like this, the next second it, it'll be done. Um, I'll try and place myself somewhere clever so that I can click my fingers and go, there it is. How about, how about we do it here? Okay, let's, <laughs> let's see how well I can line that shot up on the other end of things. All right, guys, I will see you in a number of hours. <laughs> see you soon. It is about nine hours later than when we started this um, maybe 10 hours later than when we started this i've been a busy bee and i have done a heap so i'm not going to keep you in suspense about this let's step out here and let's have a look at what we've ended up with all right so as you can see this is considerably different to what we left it as okay you can still see the structure you can still see the shape so we have the basic bit here that was the birch piece but we've added all the all the texture and the detail okay and this is to me this is how important texture and detailing is okay is that when you've got a flat surface let's let's take a look at that piece there right as it looked before it was all birch planks and so it looked really really plain now just by putting a, a piece of spruce out the front of it to give it some depth so we now have depth coming in this way and adding in some different variants of timber in some shapes and things and putting those little fences along the top there we now have a, a piece of wall which doesn't look as flat and the further back you go the better it looks because all of this starts to blend in and it gets dark on the top and then comes down a little bit i'm not the best at this technique um, i'm sure we all know the people who are um, B00 is one of my heroes and, and he does it amazingly. The things like the copper roofs, um, so I've waxed all of these in these states so that they'll hold that color because I think that looks really cool, right? That, that blends well in, um, 
I've thrown in some some other blocks around on here, so some prismarine and some uh, mossy cobblestone and things like that, to give it a look like like this bit here is worn or, or destroyed or or broken or something. So it gives it some more depth, and, and that's what we want: some more texture and things like that. The back is looking pretty good. I like the way that the the stone has come up. So we're just blending some like down here some moss blocks into the cobbled stone the mossy cobblestone in with the mossy bricks and then sort of diffusing a little bit um i yes i have intentionally left some of these bits broken uh to make it look a little bit worn and things that's the look that i'm going for um shh be quiet over there uh on this side we've done um, more of the same you can see i sort of didn't do the mossy thing down this end um, and i figured that that's just the way it is normally with moss on a building it, moss would fall on the south side um, in australia anyway um, <laughs> maybe in america it's on the north um, so i intentionally left this corner okay whereas that one there is heavily uh, heavily adjusted um, and then remembering that it's not just about creating sh shadows through um, through color. It's also we we have the ability to texture things with shape. So you can take like here we've got this nice sticking out piece of spruce. Then we step in a little bit to some fences. Then we step in again to the wall, and that helps break up some of what's happening up the top there um, and same in here throwing in different colors and different textures just adds a little something it doesn't mean anything it's not particularly attractive but it it just adds to the build um, so yeah you've got down the bottom here as i said we, we started with a light sort of looking timber and then we've headed up into the oak into the spruce um, and then as we get further up, that sort of happens again. Then it gets darker as it goes up. I've even gone as far as to try and use the um, so deep slate bricks here, but tiles in there to give you a darker shade underneath. So it gives a bit of shadow. And then as we head further sort of up the build, that shadow becomes more prominent so that there is a darker piece that's a darker piece again and then we come down and it's a bit lighter here because there's more sun on it and then yeah as we as we head down we've got these lighter bits around as well um lots of balconies lots of different shapes um some of the stuff that's still unfinished things like this area here needs some grass on it um and and loads of other stuff too so we haven't got any interiors or anything like that done yet um, pathing gardens i've only thrown together the very basics um, this has one very unique feature which i will show you straight off which is this beautiful door um, and if you open it up it's stone behind it <laughs> there's nothing behind it. <laughs> originally that was going to be the entrance to my mind and um, and I thought that'd be kind of cool to have a, a mine entrance, but the interior is actually really small on this very big four-story or five-story house that I've built. Um, and and so we, <laughs> well, I, I couldn't do what I wanted to do out the front there. I think that will do us this week. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me. Uh, and again, uh, please 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 go and visit empress little bits page she did an amazing job with that intro and and i'm i'm sorry i'm repeating myself but she she is just fantastic go and check out her channel the link is in my description you need to see her work she is an amazing artist she's a fantastic builder she's a lovely person well no, she, she's absolutely adorable and she's just such a great personality. Go and check her out and, uh, 
and yeah, make sure you subscribe and do all the things with her. Um, thank you so much, guys, for joining me. I love all of you to death. You guys are the best. Uh, from me here in a flea bagless world, uh, have a great week. I'll see you next week. Catch you later, guys. Bye.